This is President Donald Trump at the State of the Union address. Listen carefully to what he says right here. And let us reaffirm a fundamental truth. All children, born and unborn, are made in the holy image of God. At the same time that he made this remark, President Ted Wilson of the Seventh-day Adventist Church began making remarks about abortion. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, we cannot force people or legislate sure. people. That makes no sense whatsoever. You can't force a woman to have a child because when a woman has conceived, she is already with a child. That little boy or girl already exists. Donald Trump stood there and said that the little child in their mother's womb is created in the holy image of God. It is a sad day. It is a sad day when we hear more Bible truth from an entertainment TV star casino boss than we hear from our own church president. I mean, that is just really disappointing. The General Conference headquarters for the church openly urges Adventists right here to support anti-smoking legislation in order to protect unborn children from the harms of cigarette smoke. Church leaders want to use the strong arm and force of the law to compel women to obey and not smoke, but at the exact same time, defend women who want to have an abortion. You cannot smoke a cigarette, but you can kill your child. That is completely ridiculous. To say that we can't force someone implies that killing children is a matter of religious worship. And if Elder Wilson would have us to now believe that murdering a child is a form of worship, then we are no longer a church, but a cult. Remember these words, moral clarity, moral clarity. The primary number one duty and obligation of Ted Wilson is to provide moral clarity that killing an innocent, helpless little child is a terrible sin. But neither the Adventist church nor the president, Ted Wilson, will do that. The Adventist church does not provide any moral clarity whatsoever. Here he is at Andrews University also speaking about abortion. The abortion issue, and let me just say in <laughs> little parenthesis here, we cannot be the conscience for someone else in this situation. That is absolutely not true. Again, by defining abortion as a matter of conscience, he is defining murder as a religious issue, that killing a child is a religious act. By definition, he is making abortion equal with keeping the Sabbath. Keeping the fourth commandment by worshiping on the Sabbath is a religious act. Keeping Sabbath is a matter of conscience because it pertains to our relationship with God. Abortion, however, is the killing of a helpless little child, and that pertains to our relationship with other human beings. And if he is going to make these public, these are public statements throwing out centuries of Protestant ethic and belief and begin to define murder as a religious issue, then to be consistent, stealing and adultery and lying and rape are also matters of conscience. And we Adventists should utilize our religious liberty department to defend people who want to steal, commit adultery, lie and rape in the name of religion. What he is saying is so completely absurd, but people just sit there and listen to this nonsense. Why? Because he is saying it. That is the power of leadership. If some wacko straight out of the insane asylum walked up to you and said that he likes to commit crimes of stealing, burglary, and murder because it's his religion, you would wonder why they let such a crazy person into society. But because Elder Wilson is dressed in a suit, holding the Bible and describing the violent murder of children with nice sounding theological words, then all of a sudden it's apparently kosher present truth. This is of course completely insane. And listen to this. Well, I would say most Seventh-day Adventists have a great respect for the sanctity of life. Seventh-day Adventists would have great respect for the sanctity of life. Essentially, Seventh-day Adventists are great supporters of the sanctity of life, for the beautiful sanctity of life. When Adventists talk about abortion, they really like to use the phrase sanctity of life. They never say the little boy or girl. They never describe the physical reality of that little child. No, they like to repeat that vague, ambiguous phrase, sanctity of life, sanctity of life. But as you just heard, it doesn't matter how sanctified or sacred they say it is, because according to them, the choice, the conscience, the liberty, the freedom to murder that child is far more sacred. 
Adventist church leaders just love to say how much we affirm the sanctity of life, but the truth is that they believe freedom to murder is far more sacred, and of course they cannot provide even a single Bible text for what they say. Elder Wilson tells everyone the Bible, the Bible, the Bible, you gotta listen to the Bible and the Bible only, but he himself cannot provide even a single scripture to support his statements. Church leaders constantly ask for money to support evangelism. They constantly ask for money to support, quote, mission. But when church members offered $2 million for the Bible verses, why we support abortion, not one, not even one church leader has attempted to answer. You notice that? Money is so important all of the time, but all of a sudden they don't want the money. Isn't that interesting? President Trump stated right here, as most people know, and for those who would like to know, I am strongly pro-life with three exceptions, rape, incest, and protecting the life of the mother. Wait a second, did you notice that? The Adventist church right here officially, publicly supports abortion for a mother's life, her health, social health, emotional health, mental health, handicapped or disabled children with quote, defects who are not perfect like we are, and children who were conceived in rape or incest. Trump only supports three exceptions and we have five. In fact, we support the same health loophole that was used by the Supreme Court to justify abortion on demand all the way till birth. This is a huge problem because Trump does not claim that the Bible is the authoritative source of truth, but we Adventists do so. We profess that the Bible is the infallible word of God. The situation is so bad that an entertainment TV star, Casino Boss, has a better witness on abortion than the Seventh-day Adventist church. And that is a disaster. And oh, look at this right here. After the State of the Union address, a Mr. Julio Munoz publicly stated, how does he, Donald Trump, get away with all these lies and racist censored? Now, why would I show you this? You may recognize his face because Mr. Munoz is guess who? He's the communications director for the North American division of the Seventh Day Adventist Church. Now, just stop and take a moment to let that sink in. This potty mouth is a communications director for the entire North American division.